When I was growing up, my best friend and I, I think we had been at the local mall and probably couldn't get hold of our parents to come get us. And so we walked from the mall to her house. And when we got inside, I guess we had the key, I, I really don't remember. But when we got inside, we were looking out her kitchen window and we noticed that the greenhouse in their backyard started to have some smoke. And we weren't quite sure what to do about it. Knew that wasn't good, but we weren't really worried. So we called my friend's aunt who proceeded to tell us to get out of the house right away. She was calling the fire department and I don't know why, but we just giggled about that and went and followed instructions. Today, we are talking about how big is my problem? Now, as adults, we now refer to different problems as first world problems when we realize intellectually that they are just not that big. However, with kids, it is really helpful to start working with them and ask, how big is my problem? Now, having smoke coming out of a greenhouse is a number five, which is an emergency. You definitely need to get help. Someone's in danger or could possibly be in danger or get hurt. Now, five, of course, is the extreme. However, when kids are upset, it's okay for them. This is a way to rate them. Is it a glitch? Something just happened, but they know what to do. Normal part of life. You run out of toilet paper. Or what do you do? You either know where it's stored or you can find some. Then there's a little problem. You know how to fix the problem using skills you've learned before because it's something that's happened often or it has happened before. Then there's the medium problem, which again is a little bit um, more extreme. You don't have much experience with this problem, but you're not hurt. You may need some guidance to solve. This could be a disagreement with a friend, a close friend um, with who you get along well. And again, this is kids. And they um, are used to getting along well and haven't had a problem, but they can figure it out. Then it moves into a big problem. You can calm down and work on solving the problem first but may need some help if your solution doesn't work. So what comes to mind for me with this one is having a disagreement with a friend or a classmate or someone else. And you've, you've been assertive, child's been assertive, they said what they need, and yet the other child is not responding. Um, so they've applied some skills and it doesn't seem to um, remedy the situation. So then they decide they may need some more help and then you have the gigantic problem. You need some help, but can wait until an adult is available. Um, that might be a skin knee, some other kind of hurt. And then again, the final one is an emergency where you definitely need some adult assistance. So again, there's the glitch, the little problem, medium problem, big problem, gigantic problem, and then the emergency problem. And um, when we, meet with the kid who's upset when they can start realizing, yes, they're upset, but where are they with the size of the problem? It is really beneficial. And these are also good to keep in mind as adults. I know I can really get out of kilter when something arises that is unexpected or I have a problem of some kind. And then I take a minute, take a deep breath and think, okay, how big a problem is this really? Cause it can seem really big initially. And then when you give it some thought, you think, ah, oh, not so bad, it's manageable. And we want to give kids the same type of skills by again, measuring how big is my problem. So hope you find this really helpful. Would love for you to share this information with others, share this post, pass it along. I give free consultations. So if you know of anyone that may be interested in coaching, there is no obligation to continue, but I do again, give a complimentary consultation where I can share more about coaching. So please pass your referrals on to me. I would love the opportunity. Take care and until next time, be well.